Hi, it's Kristen Burke for RCR News Media, and it's the Creative Arts Emmys. Now, of course, things look a little bit different this year, but we were backstage in the virtual press room to interview some of the winners. Check it out. Welcome, Christine Barfoot and Sigrid Dechir, Exceptional Merit in Documentary Filmmaking for The Cave. Thank, Thank you. you. Question from Stephanie Pichet. Hi there, congratulations on your win. Um, this is Stephanie from RCR News Media. Um, you had some stiff competition in your category. Um, how does it feel to have won? And what was it about this um, topic that um, inspired you? Well, if I can start, uh, we are extremely honored to win this award and, and very grateful and, and happy. Uh, we also see that uh, the competitors we've had this year are incredible competitors. Uh, a lot of the other films are outstandingly produced as well. So uh, we also want to congratulate uh, our other nominees. Uh, but of course, this film is a really special film to us. Uh, it's about women and it's about a, a, a woman who runs a hospital underground in Syria. And she also stands up for rights, for female rights underground in a very masculine and patriarchate society. Uh, Danish Documentary is a company run by women. Uh, so, of course, it's, it feels also very personal that we are connected to our story and our character. Question from David Stamper. Hi, Kristin and Sigrid, congratulations on this um, fantastic award for what was an incredible documentary. I mean, I know you've both had incredible careers in this documentary space. Um, what particularly did you find most challenging about this topic and this documentary compared to, say, some of the others you've worked on? There's that, yeah. Yeah. So what we, we, we as a company has never done a film in a war zone and, and being, you know, staying at, at shore um, and trying to deal with all the obstacles that we had during the filming, um, we just stay calm and, and listen, we, we listened very much to Faraz Fayad who had the knowledge and we listened to our team. So um most difficult was definitely that we didn't know if um our team would survive in these circumstances and uh how to deal you know with difficulties through cultures language um distance so i mean in the end we didn't know how it would end but it did end well and we're super proud Question from Matt Carey. Hi, this is Matt Carey with nonfictionfilm.com. Congratulations on your win. It's very, very exciting. One of the, the great uh, challenges, I, I think, if we look at the situation in Syria, is that it's always been a struggle, at least in the US and probably much of the West, to get attention on that situation. And then now with COVID-19, it's really kind of knocked it out of the news almost entirely. How frustrating is that to you? And what would you like people to know and understand about what is happening in Syria currently? Well, of course, it's uh, frustrating for us that uh, that that people don't uh, deal so much with Syria anymore. And it, it, that means that we are even more happy to receive this award because this award also brings attention to the Syrian situation. Um, and it is an award that we want to give out to everybody fighting uh, against dictators and against uh, dictators killing uh, people, their own people. So of course, it's really, it means a lot to us to, to win this award. And COVID-19 is not only something that's really relevant in America and uh, of course in Europe as well, but it's also a huge danger in Syria right now. So not only is Syria trying to find its foot again or feet again in, in the war conflict that's actually going on still in some areas, 
uh, but they are also fighting against COVID-19 and against hunger. So it's a, it's a devastating situation in a country post-war or in, in a dictatorship uh, that is happening right now in, in Syria. And we just hope that people will continue to uh, watch stories also from coming out of Syria now where the war might not be happening as uh, as increasingly big as it was when we shot the cave, but still, it's it's a it's a country that is torn and is in conflict, and is definitely not in a good situation, and not with COVID nineteen either. So we just hope people will stay and and watch and uh, be part of the political discussion which is happening internationally. Final question to Lisa Bermudez. Hi, ladies, Julissa here on behalf of Central Ave. Congratulations, huge congratulations to both of you. As women in film, what kind of impact do you think social activism has played in terms of opening doors for women to have opportunities and, and have control of their careers in Hollywood? As women in film and in Hollywood, what kind of impact do you think social activism has played in terms of opening doors for women to have opportunities and control their careers in Hollywood, especially behind the scenes? I think, okay. I think uh, with the cave, Dr. Amani is a very good example of, of going against a uh, male dominant society and and to answer your questions related to Hollywood, I think it's um, from from the point of view of the cave. I think Amani is a good example that anything is possible, and um, opening doors in Hollywood regarding women and their actions. I think as a woman, I think we can do anything we want, and I think Amani, as we follow her and we followed her after the film and everything we did, I think we're representing women that can do what they want and, and I mean, represent stories. Um, we can walk in everywhere. And I think that's- of course We have to make sure that we can uh, find the right conditions for women to also work in film. And uh, in, in our country, in Denmark, where we are from, we have uh, worked for many years in order to make it possible, even if you want to have a family and you want to have kids, because most women are, have a hard time leaving their kids uh, at home. So we try to, to make different type of, of rules and sets it, uh, for instance, we hire the men as the nannies and we bring the men to the shootings, uh, even on documentary films, if we can. Of course, we couldn't on the cave because it's the middle of a, of a war zone. But if we can, we bring uh, parents that are uh, mutual with uh, taking care of their kids so that the women can stay in film. Because the problem is once you get a family, it's very hard for women to make their they keep making their way into the the uh, to the platform it's it's very difficult thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and in the comments below let us know who your favorite primetime emmy nominee is